Hi, do you everyone? My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome to Mr. Fruit Plays. If you haven't been here before, let's talk. Now I'm going to immediately dispel your worries. This isn't a bad video. It's titled Let's Talk because that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk. It's not a bad thing like, you know, your dad calls you in, you know you did something bad, and he says, son, let's talk. It's a different kind of let's talk. More like a let's ride kind of talk. You know, because we haven't done one of these in a little while. And in fact, I don't think we've ever done one of these on this channel because well, I just kind of wanted to update you guys. As you know, I created this channel. Sheesh. Like eight months now. Been a while, huh? Well, nine months. I don't even know. But the point of this channel at the beginning was to separate variety from my main channel, Mr. Fru, which I've been running for eight, a little over eight years now or something. Again, woof. Anyway, I'm getting old, man. And in the past couple years, the way the algorithm has changed, and since the great Among Us incident, as you all know, it's a story. It's a it's a well versed chapter in the Mister Fruit War. What ended up happening was you know, algorithm changes, and the highs and low that came from Among Us, blah 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 blah, kind of put my channel in a big disarray. Nothing really made sense. I was struggling as a creator, trying everything I could, switching things up, making things I was proud of, and never performing the way it used to. And that was eating at me, so I decided, hey, screw it, let's separate it. Because me, I, turns out, you know, 27 years later, earlier this year, finally got diagnosed with ADHD. Went my whole life without being diagnosed. I have depression, and I have general generalized anxiety disorder but ADHD was never even mentioned to me especially which is strange because it's quite frankly and quite usually comorbid with depression and it turns out that that's actually the case I've actually been seeing more progress from ADHD meds to help with my depression than antidepressants ever have that's a whole other box of worms we can get into some other day not to mention the fact that as soon as I finally found medicine that works for me turns out I have severe reactions to it uh so finally found a med that works after like 13 years of trying meds can't take it right now again whole other thing and while we're talking about health quick update as you guys might know i got my little splint here i've been wearing now for two years two years right it was supposed to be a couple months anyway got real bad jaw issues finally got approved with my healthcare to talk and start scheduling with a surgeon for my jaw. Hopefully something will get moving there earlier next year. Whenever that does happen, I should give you a fair warning now and I'll give you a warning then. I'm gonna be out of commission for a good bit. Like, won't really be able to talk for about a week. Won't be able to eat solid foods for like three to four. I won't even be able to exercise for five to six weeks just so I don't strain my jaw at all, even clinching. So I don't know how that's going to affect recording videos. I'm probably going to attempt to do a big old batch beforehand. Again, completely separate. But that's some of my health stuff going on. I have been feeling very tired. Finally got in as well to see about my thyroid. Turns out I have Hashimoto's. However, that doesn't explain the symptoms I'm having because it all matches up with hypothyroid, hy hypothyroidism. I'm super lethargic. Uh, fluctuating weight gain like crazy. It's insane. I hate it. Among many other things. But so far they can only find that I have very overactive... Um, what is it? Antibodies? I'm creating way too much. And it's in a regular form. And so it's kind of inevitable because like my mom... Three of... Like, like my grandma and, and some great aunts and a whole bunch of people. Definitely in the family. So it's kind of inevitable it's going to end up happening. When? We're not sure. So I'm trying to actually mitigate some of that. I've swapped to, or currently in the process of trying to change to a anti-inflammatory lifestyle uh, with my food, which is a little unfortunate because one of my coping mechanisms with uh, my depression and everything is food. I like food. We have a love-hate relationship because I eat the food and it's good. And then... And then a little bit later, I'm like, why did I do that? Ah, oh, man. And that's my relationship with food. 
which has been very unhealthy. So I've tried to be better about that. However, this autoimmune thing has also um, put a bit of a, a wrench in things because as dumb as it is, I've gotten pretty good about eating better and not like some people don't get it. It's not good. I wake up and my first thought is like, what am I eating for breakfast? I eat breakfast and my next thought is like, what is the next thing I'm eating? That's like the whole day for me. And I can't help it. So I finally got to a little bit of a better place. Because I kind of found a way, zero sugar sodas, right? It was enough to tell myself, hey, I'm not gaining weight from these. You know, there's no calories. I can, And it's something like I get a craving, drink a zero sh sugar soda. Not the best for you, I'm sure. And drinking more than one a day, also probably, pro drinking one a day at the very least every day is probably not good. But I was like, hey, I got to die of something eventually. And if I live my life really well all other ways, but at the end of the day, it's some zero sugars that did me in, then, you know, I was going to die anyway, let's be honest. But, turns out, doesn't it's inflammatory regardless of whether or not he does all that other stuff. So I lost that, for instance. So, currently don't have any comfort food, so... Trying to find new ways to cope because I don't cope very healthy. I am an all or nothing kind of guy. This is going to kind of be a bit rainy. We're already seven minutes in or so-ish. And haven't really gotten to... Well, I don't really have a point for the video. I actually just want to talk. My point is, before we get into the thing, is that I wanted to do this. And I like this. I like being a little more intimate with you guys. As you guys know, I like to be open about my stuff. I like to talk about mental health, for instance. And other things, not because I have to, but because I choose to and I want to. And especially with mental health, I want other people to know they're not alone because I always felt alone earlier on. Uh, society and stuff definitely hadn't also gotten to the place where it was less taboo to talk about it. And so I was struggling with it and I had no idea anybody else ever did. Like when I, well, I think I've talked about it. I got diagnosed with depression sophomore year of high school. When I was diagnosed... That was the first time I've heard the word depression. I'd literally never heard it before. I didn't even know what that was. And then they explained it. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, that's me. So anyway, point is, with all these algorithmic changes and making new channels and trying to chase the dragon in the sense of whatever's working to get my numbers back to where they used to be or uh, get people watching more, yada, yada, blah, blah. I've also learned that part of it is just the way people consume content and the way a lot of the olive, olive, no, my little poopers. Actually, a really cute video of Appa howling on my Twitter. If you want to go check it out, at Mr. Fruit YT before you know Twitter explodes in a fiery ball of catastrophe. The way people consume content and the and the form of content has changed drastically. Since I've started, obviously. Changes year to year, month to month. Sometimes I'm able to keep up, sometimes I'm not. But for the most part, I was in my lane, doing what I wanted. Didn't matter. Until it finally affected me. And felt like I had to change. And looking at some of it, a lot of it is just... It's more impersonal. You need to appeal to people who don't know you, which is fair. Because just like this, like if you don't know me, odds are you don't care about this video and you're not going to watch this video. You didn't even get this far, which is fair. And so a lot of people are incentivized to ignore something like this. Getting more intimate with your viewers or opening yourself up more or spending more time. Because nowadays, instead of making an intro and kind of talking about things and, hey, let's get into it. Well, you know. Average Joe's already clicked off. So nowadays, you got to cut that out. You know, you just got to get right into the meat of things. And when you get right into the meat of things, well, it also can't be like an inside joke yet because, you know, nobody knows that. So that's not the point. You need to immediately hook it. Trust me. Rabbit hook goes deep. But so I'm doing that over the main channel where I've tried with some, some, some stuff. But I miss this. I miss being able to do this. And so I made Mr. Fruit Plays first off for variety, which is essentially at the time anything but shooters. But now, I think it's going to ch kind of change to just original Mr. Fruit years ago. This channel will essentially just be everything under the sun. 
that I want to play that doesn't have a home on Mr. Fruit. Now, what does that mean? I'm going to try and upload some things time to time on Mr. Fruit that aren't already there to see if they stick because I'll initially post them probably thinking maybe this will fit with the audience there right now and the content I have. For instance, Modern Warfare 2. Tried some of the multiplayer matches over there. Videos didn't do so well, so I'm like, okay. Well, we're gonna pull those off. And originally, I was like, well, sheesh. I wanted to play Modern Warfare 2. I wanted to make videos, but I guess I can't. I'm like, wait a second, I'll just put it on the Plays channel. Yeah, it's shooter stuff, but I wanna make videos on it. And if I can't put it on the main channel, at least I can put it over here. So that's what we're gonna do. Doesn't matter what it is. If it's not going on the main channel and I wanna make it, I'm gonna make it for this channel. Screw it, you know? Try not to worry too much about numbers and stuff here. Now, the main channel is probably always gonna have to take priority because I do have to make a living and this channel doesn't really do that. But it's fun and it's keeping me sane. That's the main, that's the main thing with it. So that's what you can expect with this channel and that's where my headspace has changed recently when I'm thinking about this channel and the, and the content I wanna create for this channel. I'm also going to stop worrying. I started the channel originally and was trying to focus, really hone in on a certain kind of strategy and format for my videos to try and appeal to people and really catch fire. And it's a new channel, so like clean slate. Let's see where it goes. And I have like a YouTube partner I talk to all the time, Dominic. Shout out. I doubt he's watching this, but he's a godsend. Love that guy. Talk to him pretty occasionally. Um... Or pretty regularly. And he was like, yeah, a couple months in. Like, was kind of hoping to see things get rolling here. Get the ball rolling. And they haven't really. And instead of being defeated about that, I just accepted it and said, yeah, screw it. So, this is for fun. This is to keep me sane. This is so I can itch that creative side of me. Because the problem is, and we're going to rope it back. And this is always going to be a problem. I always lose track where it was. Talking about ADHD. Because the way a lot of content creators work right now, think about a creator you might have seen on the rise or a creator you've just discovered or a creator you watch. It might be a little different because you watch me, so you might inherently be a little more interested, or at least this channel, in variety creators, so it might be a little skewed. But for the most part, people you watch nowadays, for lack of a better way to put it, are one-trick ponies. And I don't mean that in like a bad way. I use it in the term as in League of Legends but where they pretty much focus on one thing. They're good at one thing, but they have that one thing and not usually other things. And that's the way content creation has kind of shifted these past couple years away from the variety creator and, and even more so kind of away from the creator. There's less emphasis on the person behind it sometimes. And YouTube certainly doesn't care as much because instead of you finding a video from me, maybe, recommended. Like, oh, this is kind of interesting. That doesn't mean the next video they're gonna push to you or be like, hey, go watch this now if you like this, to be mine. Because here's the thing about YouTube, and I don't blame them. They're not here to help me, right? If you find a video of mine and you like it, if they think you'll stay on the platform longer, if they show you another video of mine, they will. But if they think you'll watch a little more if they show you this different video, that's kind of the same thing, and it's not mine, but, you know, algorithmically it's shown that people who watch this, who've watched this, for instance, click and stay, blah, 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 retention, then that's what they're going to do, which has changed uh, over time. And so that's what it is. They just want people to stay on the platform. For them, it doesn't matter who it is specifically. So that's why I also kind of think my channel has struggled recently. Uh, the past couple years, and I'm not trying to be melodramatic. I'm not trying to like gather pity points. I've, I've been sitting on this for two years, all right? I, you know, plenty of therapy meetings later and whatnot, trying to get to a place where I'm, I feel better about it. I might still make self deprecating jokes, um, but it comes from a better place now. Know that it's not like a desperate cry for help. Uh, I think it's actually just a little funny, a little, a little fun jab at myself. But I just can't, and I never have, been good at doing one thing. Playing one game in this case. So, 
the main channel. What do they want to see? You know, like, uh, maybe we just want to see Destiny, let's say. It's always been really hard for me to just do Destiny. That's why years and years and years ago when the channel popped off, it was initially from Destiny. And after like a couple months of that, even with all the initial momentum and finally breaking out into the scene, I was like, I gotta, I gotta do something. And that's when I started double uploading, doing more work just so that I could throw in some variety, get people used to it, do the extra legwork so that eventually I could transfer to something that was less, le less restraints. And we got there. But the problem is it's coming back. And now for the most part, you want to succeed. Usually it'll be because you're able to appeal to some people who, who know what to expect from you. Personally, the way I've always wanted to make content is you guys don't know what to expect and you, you don't have to know what to expect, but you know it's a video for me and that's all that matters. Look at someone like Dunkey, for instance, right? His views might differ a good bit, but for the most part, people are just like, oh, a new Dunkey video. It's about some Sega Genesis game I've never heard about. Who cares? It's Dunkey. I'm not quite there. But that's what I want to do. However, the easiest way to do it is to just do one thing so people always know what to expect because maybe they show up for Fortnite. Like, I like Fortnite. I kind of like this guy. Oh, and he uploads a lot of Fortnite. Okay, I'll look out for his future Fortnite content. And then slowly, you know, a very small percentage of those people will transfer um, into long-term community members who will, who will then transfer with you. And that was always my goal. In fact, that was my goal back during the Among Us boom. We popped off, and I, I always tell myself, like, this isn't going to last. But hopefully, once this is all done, even if just 10% of these new viewers stick around, I'll be happy. I don't need to, you know, translate every viewer to a long-term viewer. I totally understand. It's a revolving door, you know, famously. Um, we didn't gain 10% and last week, in fact, we lost 50% of our community before Among Us. Whole other thing. But that's why I've struggled because I just, bec and it makes more sense now that I've been diagnosed with ADHD and looked more into it and figured out just how my brain works across not just gaming, but just my life. And realizing, dang, imagine I'd been diagnosed with this earlier, medicated earlier and like, who knows what I could have done? Who knows where I'd be? We'll never know. But hopefully we'll see uh, an uptake too once I'm finally hopefully able to find a workaround to be able to take some of these meds because right now I'm on a very low dosage of Adderall that just helps just a little bit. But the side effects are just enough that I can breathe. Yeah, the main thing is it like tightens up my throat. Not important. So we have this channel because yes, creatively I need to be challenged and I need I just need to do other things. And the idea is separate it so that I can do all that Destiny or Overwatch 2 or whatever it is. But then also get my variety fix and put it over here and then this way it's not interfering with the other content directly. Upload to upload because that's how YouTube looks at it. Your channel for the most part in like a, a window, a, a period of time, you know, like your 10 last uploads or whatever. So every time you upload, they go up and down, up and down. So then it, well, your last video and so on and so forth. That's the idea. Kind of been executing. Kind of got back to it. Some numbers with Destiny 2. I started uploading just Destiny 2 on the main channel. Wanted to swap to Overwatch 2. So it might just be uh, whatever game I'm enjoying and can actively play enough that I can upload enough of one of those games as content. Like Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 is an interesting thing because I don't know... What do we, I don't know where that game's going. I don't know if it's going to be dead in a week. I don't know if it'll pick up with Season 2. I don't know if I should just wait until PvE and things will come. I don't know. I'm taking it day by day. But the main channel will look more like that. Like, we're going to have main games. It's mainly going to be Destiny 2. Overwatch 2. I don't really know what else is coming out that, like, Call of Duty didn't do it. So I'm not really sure what else is coming. But that's what to expect there. And here, everything else. Indie games. Games with friends. Again, the, the games that might have gone on the main channel but don't have a place there. We'll go here. 
And then, let's not forget, because I also wanted to talk about the fact that I'm, I've been rambling for over 20 minutes. I'm tired. I'm real tired. So I'm drinking my advanced GG. Code Mr. Fruit. Link below. Anyway. I have been going since when did Overwatch 2 release? Like October 4th? Since October 4th, I've been working, I kid you not, I think every day since then, at least 10 hours. No days off, no breaks. Every day has essentially been wake up, get videos edited, sorted, uploaded, thumbnails, all that good stuff, work out, record slash stream, uh, slash, you know, get a group together for something and go to sleep. It's not very healthy and I've gotten way better about it. And so this isn't a normal thing. It's just because the game industry decides, Hey, let's throw everything at them within, you know, a four to five week period of time. And that's what was happening is just all the games I need to cover came out at this small amount of time. So been a lot of work. Uh, and it just hasn't stopped. You know, Overwatch 2. Um, I simultaneously. So if you go over to more Mr. Fruit. If you missed it. I finished a Nuzlocke. A Pokemon Nuzlocke. Super fun if you've never watched him. I recommend maybe start with this most recent one. It's a fan made game. Most people wrote it off. Wrote it off because like. Ah fan made game. Dare I say one of the best Pokemon games I've played. And it was a fan made game. Exceptional. But anyway. I've been doing that Nuzlocke for the past. Two months or something. So, I had that running. God of War came out. Been playing that. I've got a little over like 40 hours in it right, 40, 50 hours in it right now. But because of the way I play, um, we're, I'm like halfway through the story. But I've been playing that. And then what do you know? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet come out. So now I'm playing that and uploading that. And uh, I had a New World event I had to do. Um, partnered with Amazon. I love New World anyway. And these Fresh Start servers came out. Put over a hundred hours into that in two weeks uh, for this event uh, slash sponsorship partnership thing I was a part of. Uh, that was in the middle of it all while obviously, again, Overwatch 2, um, something else came out. And then on top of other odds and end recordings, oh, Modern Warfare 2, I haven't even been able to play that as much as I want. Which also, spoilers, we'll see how the Road to Orion series is going. Looks like... Not that many people might be interested, so if they're going to underperform. Uh, for the amount of time it takes to just get the camos alone, much less, you know, record the video. That'll be rough. If I end up getting Orion, it'll probably be over a very long amount of time then. Um, just because I got so much going on. But there's more things coming out in December. And then February. Oh my god, February stack. That's going to be a nightmare. But the point is, in about a week here, hopefully... Most of this stuff should be done with, especially the Let's Plays, because right now I'm double uploading right now. Two hour, two hour, two two hour episodes on more Mr. Fruit, so I can try and get God of War and the Pokemon Violet Let's Play out. Because I also don't want to let people down, because I did this before on more Mr. Fruit. I, it was Red Dead Redemption 2 and Let's, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee or whatever came out years ago at the same time. Wanted to do both, so I was like, I, I can juggle both. Coincidentally, didn't finish either because it got to be too much because I was also daily uploading or double uploading at that point pro probably on my main channel. So I was like triple or quadruple uploading. Bit off more than I can chew. So I was like, I'm never going to do that again. This is an extenuating circumstance. And I tried really hard to finish God of War in that week before Violet came out, but there was, I had so much other stuff I couldn't. But I was like, ah, I gotta freaking try. So I don't want to let other people down either again by not finishing a Let's Play. So I'm like, I gotta get this done. Just it's, just, it's just a week. We're the home stretch. We're getting there. I'm so tired. What was it? The other day, um, rest in pieces, my PS5 controller died while I was playing God of War. The stick drift just came out of nowhere and it became unplayable. So I had to call it at like six at night. I had to order a new controller, so I got off. I was like, sheesh. The first night off I've had. I didn't even know what to do. And planned for it. 
you know, my brain's just been getting like, go, 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 like, just like head down. So yeah, we, we got like a week left and I, it was great. I had someone come into my chat on Twitch like, oh yeah, it must be so hard playing video games all day. Bruh. First off, I, w I wish that's all there was to it. Because then, yeah, I could do that. But that's the smallest part of it. It's one. Daily uploading, double uploading sometimes on YouTube every day. Um, and then the thing too is, I don't play games. I play games to record slash entertain. There's a very big difference between sitting down and grinding the game for 10 hours. And sitting down and grinding the game, a game for 10 hours for content. Because... The thing was, like I said, I'm generally a pretty low energy person too. I struggle with energy. And so I have to more or less perform, right? I have to I have to show up while also playing these games for an extended period of time. And that's why the past like six weeks or whatever, it's, it's been taking a toll on your boy. Dado, you know, has titled me a greasy gremlin gamer. <laughs> He's like, dude, what? He's like, you went live before me. I went live, I ended it, and you're still live. I'm like, I know. What am I doing? We got a week left. Then I'm gonna take a couple days. And then I'm looking to maybe take, uh, hopefully like a little vacation in January, because that's the thing, I haven't, I haven't taken a vacation since 20, 2019, maybe? When, early 2020? Uh, I, uh, yeah. So, and I don't really have days off. I've tried to get better about it. The problem is, too. Here's a little fun fact. Um, people like to say, oh, you've got a great work ethic. I wish that was the case. I do. But a lot of it also comes from a very unhealthy place. This is how I cope. Um, I cope with my depression and anxiety by being a workaholic. Because the way I see it is one of a really unhealthy way of looking at things that I'm, tr I, I'm trying endlessly to like adjust my outlook. But like it has to be productive. I have a hard time having free time and relaxing because it's not productive. I don't know where this came from. Childhood stuff probably. Whole thing we could, un uh, you know, it probably spans back from my childhood and it probably does. But I deal with work because it's productive. I feel productive. And best of all, it takes all my attention, energy. So I can't think about other stuff. You know, I can't be sad if I'm not thinking about being sad. Which is kind of like, I have my mind so occupied that it doesn't wander. Because wandering is where it gets you. So that's, that's what I do. And right now I'm not trying to do it to cope. Trying to do it to get everything I got to do done. And that's just the reality of it. Like, I'm not sitting here saying somebody else doesn't have a job like this. Where, like, you, just, there's just a part of the year where it's, you just got to grind. That's just the nature of things. And I know. So I'm not complaining. And that's why I'm getting it done. I'm doing it. But also, I'm tired. I am. And I want to be honest with you guys. And I like to have this discussion. And I hope you guys are doing well. And I know this is rambly. It's almost 30 minutes. The thing too is, who's going to watch this? Probably not too many people. Or who, who will make it this far. I didn't really have a clear goal sitting down and clicking record here. More so just wanted to talk to you guys. There's probably going to be some points I totally forgot to talk about that when I'm editing. I'm like, ah, fudge. Forgot to mention that. Or like, wait, that was the whole reason I was going to do the video and I forgot to mention it. And I can't think about what that would be right now, so. I don't know. I've just changed. And here's the thing. Some people will be like, eh, your content's changed. You're different. Yeah. Yeah, it has. I don't think for worse. But I'm eight years older than when I started this thing. I'm 28. Getting to 30. Married now, I got two dogs, I got a house. Uh, I've got other things to worry about. And I've just matured. So yeah, things have changed. 
I don't think it's a bad thing. I think I'd be more worried if I hadn't changed. But I think that's where it comes from most of the time. When people are like, hey, you've changed. Or I used to like your content, but well, here's the thing too. You've changed, odds are. I know there are some of you who have been with me since near the beginning or years. Shout out to you. That's another thing I wanted to mention. Throughout chasing the algorithm, you're trying to find this new audience, trying to grow. But that's when I realized, screw it, because when I'm doing it, it's alienating my my current audience, my longtime audience, and I would rather have them. Who cares if I don't grow anymore? I'd rather keep the people who've enjoyed and been around for longer than appeasing these newer people. Like this, like this video is for you guys. You might not get much out of it, but you might just hear me update you or you know talk about things or oh who knows you're probably you're probably asleep you might just you know put me on to go to sleep and that's hey totally fair that is yeah that's one thing i wanted to mention so you guys are like you you guys are the homies you i wouldn't be here without you guys because i think i've also mentioned this and probably on the podcast oh yeah not to mention yeah do a podcast every week on top of that and like I said, I've been Twitch streaming um, hundreds of hours the past couple months. So if you want to see more content of me, probably, yeah, there's too much of me out there. Head on over, though, to my Twitch. actually just got uh, my new username, too. Switched it to just Mr. Fruit because it used to be taken. and I, I got it back. So if there's previous links you've tried to click, uh, it no longer leads you to me, which is unfortunate. But it is now just Mr. Fruit. Streaming there tons. Um, that's been more fun because there's some more direct contact uh to you guys as well as just when i'm sitting here having to play you know or maybe like record a let's play even though i'm usually not interacting with chat because i prefer to keep my let's plays with like immersion if that makes sense like i've talked about it when i go to youtube and i watch a let's play if i'm sitting there trying to watch and it's just the person playing it interacting with a chat i don't see in the past it just kind of takes me out of it i'm not interested in that and i know some people don't care but that's what I try and do. So, like, I might not always be interacting with chat, but just knowing people are there and watching makes me feel less alone, which I know sounds weird, but, like, I know the reality is I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't have coworkers. I don't have an office. Uh, I don't have people I have to talk to every day or communicate with, and that has its upsides and downsides. It just gets a little lonely. Now, obviously, I have the boys, you know, the dream team, the extended dream team, and, yeah, they're definitely what keep me sane, too. If I didn't have those guys... I don't, I, ooh, I don't know where I'd be. So thank God for them. But yeah, it just helps, especially when I'm playing a game that isn't multiplayer. So feel free to go um, check out those streams. Catch me next time. I'm probably live right now or about to be playing more Violet, Pokemon Violet. So we try and finish the Let's Play. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, and then sometimes it's just good talking with you guys like this. I know it's not a back and forth. But, you know, I'm always, I, I'm always the first to point out my weaknesses, my shortcomings, self-deprecating humor. But I do think one thing I do well is a dialogue, whether it's just a commentary or otherwise, that I do think, I don't know how to describe it, but it... I try and make it feel like it's just you and me gaming, you know? Like back in the day, I'd be at my friend's and playing StarCraft on his GameCube. I'm watching him play and it just feels like you're gaming with a bud. It's kind of like what, what like people mention that's like a lot of times like what it feels like, you know, watching like the Modern Warfare videos or something. Or when it's with my friends, it feels like you're just one of us, you know, just watching and laughing along. That's what I like because when I started YouTube and what got me into YouTube were videos like that that helped me. But I also want to say, like, I, I'm not trying to form parasocial relationships, right? I know that's dangerous and that's not what I'm trying to do. But I also wanted to feel like I am a friend or like, you know, you can always rely on me because people always ask, like, how long are you going to do this? And the reality of it is, as long as I can, but... I hope to, at the end of it, 
be able to say be able to be the one to say it's over right i don't want it to end because the curtains got closed on me i want to be in front of it saying hey it's time i don't see that being in the foreseeable future i don't mean scary i don't know when that's going to come but when it does i want to be the one to say you know i want to be the one to call it and i want to be comfortable with it because that's the thing right now is if it ended today i'd be in shambles because crippling anxiety about uh my future always have the uncertainty so hopefully i get a better place there and ultimately you'll, you'll probably i'm sorry to say this never get rid of me and what i mean by that is i like to make things i like to be creative always have that's the one constant throughout my entire life no matter what i've done no matter what i've wanted to do be creative make something so recently i've toyed with the idea i mean i've i tried to make that um collectible card game a little like collectible thing fell through because we couldn't find anyone that would run it because it would be so expensive it's unfortunate maybe one day i'll make a little video on some of the cards because i i drew over like 60 or 70 or something um another story though prototype like a board game i wanted to make a board game um and i've really really tossed the idea around about writing a book because here's the thing too is i want to make a game i'd love to make a video game I actually have a idea for a single player narrative driven game, four to five hour playtime that I practically had in like, um, what's the word? I had like a whole deck for, like I could have pitched it to people, uh, just don't have the money. It's unfortunate part, very expensive, even to make a scope of a game that I was trying to reel in. But I'd love to make that. I think I think I have some cool stories to tell. I honestly think people would really like the game, but can't make it a reality, unfortunately. So maybe something like books where I could tell different stories. The interesting thing and the tough thing about like the video game I wanted to make was it was a game that was being told because the perfect medium was like a video game. Because it wasn't just something you could orate. That makes sense. There's a lot of different experiences going into it. I mean, I went to college to be a movie director. Obviously, that didn't work out. And, you know, me and every other Joe Schmo. But that's what I've always wanted to do. I've wanted to, to tell stories. I even think, I kind of think that's what I do with some of my videos. In a much broader, ambiguous way, right? There's no script. But usually there's like a there's a there's a little story to be told beginning to end, you know, or like that's why I kind of like the Nuzlocks. They tell a story. Um, the interesting thing about the Nuzlocke is, you know, I'm writing it with you. That's one of those that we, we we're turning the page at the same time. I don't know what's to come. But once you get to the end, it makes, you know, you can close the cover and it makes a, a nice little book, a nice little story. I'm, I am, all right, I got to end this video because I could, I could keep going to talk about this forever. Fascinating stuff. I know, I know and think about this stuff way too much. Um, because I love what I do. I do. And I'm very thankful that somebody like you watching this right now is the reason I'm still here kicking it, you know, eight, eight and a half years later. I mean, my first YouTube video was uploaded. Over 11 years ago, I think, on my other channel. I mean, I have been in this space a long time. And part of it, too, is I'm... I wouldn't say I'm not quite as hungry as I was, but it definitely just comes with age. And not so much to say, like, I'm an old man. <laughs> I'm not saying that. It's just simply I've been in this for a long time. I mean, I've been doing this for almost a third of my life weird to think about but yeah i've been doing this a while very thankful to be here where i am today and yeah i don't know i i i'd even tweet it because i was like i don't know what i'll talk about maybe i'll um maybe i'll like do a little impromptu questions and answers on twitter 
So I like tweeted out this morning, hey, any questions? But we clearly don't have time for that. So maybe, I don't know. We'll, maybe, maybe we'll even do something like this a little more consistently. Maybe once a month or something, we'll check in. And then we'll do some Q&As or something. But I don't know, I like this. This more intimate video from time to time. Um, and this is for you real stands, because like obviously this ain't going on the main channel. So yeah, feel free to, if you leave a comment down below or something or I pick from it, you know, feel free to always pick my brain about this kind of stuff too. Again, I could go on and on and on, because it goes on and on and on. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you gleaned something from this. Uh, or deem this video somehow necessary. Or worth it. I hope you have a great Sunday. Or week. Whenever you're watching this. I hope you're doing well. I hope somebody's checking in on you. And just know. If it feels like. Nobody cares. I do. And I know our community would. Uh, and I know that's cheesy. But. Um, we do have a Reddit. It's not the most popping. But you could post over there. Or. Uh, lurk. Um, I think it's in the, the description below. R slash. Mr. Fruit? Is it just our site? Should know my own Reddit. Probably. Link below. We've got a Discord. Discord.gg slash housefruit. Should be a link down below as well. Big old community over there. We even have some clans as well with other Discords. If you want to connect more. That's the one thing I wish I was better at. I'm not good at community stuff. So most of the stuff that's been built is from other people. And I'm very grateful for those. Who are able to connect. Um, yeah. Talk to you guys in the next one.